Hello everybody, welcome to another mod spotlight. This one is on the nuclear control mod. This is included in TechIt, which is why I have TechIt open, but it can also be downloaded normally. And obviously I have a nuclear reactor here. Now if you haven't seen my other video, or my one of the videos I uploaded recently, then you obviously don't know that I'm pretty bad at nuclear reactors. Only sometimes though. So there are ways to prevent explosions happening with the stuff included in the mod. Yeah, it's this stuff, except the lever. That's not included. So, let's go ahead and get started. First one would be a thermal monitor. This gets placed directly on or the block next to it, like that, or directly on it. You can go ahead and right click, signal at 500 heat. This is the heat that it will emit a redstone signal and turn red at whatever heat of the reactor. You can tell the reactor, the heat of the reactor, using either a thermometer or a digital thermometer. Thermometer crafted like so. It's a water cell. And digital thermometer being that. So, simple enough. And obviously, you right click, it'll tell you your whole heat. If you use a digital thermometer, you can recharge it with industrial... Get out of here, chicken, duck, whatever, I don't know what you are. You're a chicken. Alright, it'll show you the whole heat, water evaporation point, and the melting point of this one. And, so yeah, if I go ahead and... Well, no, I'm not going to do that right now. There also is the industrial alarm and the howler alarm. Industrial alarm is that our alarm crafted like so. Uh, three note blocks, electronic circuit, and stuff. I uh, forgot to show you the recipe for this. So if I go ahead and show you the thermal monitor is similar advanced circuit. Yep, that's it. Alright, so this is the easier part of the mod. I'll go ahead and toss these in so you can see it working. Check the heat, 186. 244, 360, 476, it hit 500, and it turned on. But I don't think it's emitting it. Oh, great. Uh, okay, hang on. Give me a second. Yeah, this could be a problem. Alright, go ahead and take these out. So it turned red, and we can go ahead and check the heat. Whoa, okay, that was getting pretty hot. Uh, did not mean to do that. Let's get back. Remote sensor kit. Alright. Remote sensor kit, in case you didn't see that on accident, would be a, um, if you right click on a reactor, it will mount the sensor card, and or it'll mount the sensor and give you a sensor location card. This is used with, hey, get out of here, used with a remote thermal monitor. So you don't have to have it directly up. It can be within eight blocks, so over here it should be fine. And you just go ahead and place your sensor card up in the top. And then give it some power, a battery will work, or you can hook it straight up. It uses one EU per tick. Um, one if you can have multiple sensor things. But either way, that's it. Um, it's already hooked up, and it shows a little bar at the top telling you your heat level. See, it's going down a little bit, because the reactor heat's going down. If I could reach over here. Yeah, it's definitely going down. All right. Um, just get rid of this, and I'll go ahead and show you the same thing. So yeah, it's getting dark. Okay, back to the spotlight. I'll go ahead and toss my uranium cells in and hope it doesn't blow up. See the heat's rapidly going up, and bam. Okay, so it should emit a redstone signal. I'll go ahead and get a um, lamp quickly. Red power, blue lamp. Yeah, see, it's emitting a redstone signal. So, same thing as the thermal monitor, but just a bit different. On to the alarms. You may want to turn down your volume for this because this actually gets pretty loud. Um, What's the reactor heat at? I don't know. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just do this manually. The howler alarm obviously howls at you. Where'd it go? Uh, okay then. Alright, there we go. So, just turn down your sound. Uh, make sure 
Mine's, yeah, mine, mine's really low. So, this gets really loud. And on a red zone signal, hint, hint, you can hook it up to your monitors. But, on a red zone signal, hope you guys can hear that. Ooh. Yeah, you should be able to hear that. And I believe it works up to 64 blocks away, which is handy. So, just head this direction. Yeah, you can hear it all the way out here. Alright, let's get back there. <laughs> yep, it's pretty loud. Handy for alerting people if your reactor's gonna blow up. Because, I mean, I don't want to be caught in the watch radius. The... Uh, what you call it? Um, industrial alarm. It is an upgrade to the Howell alarm. That should be the recipe. So it's obviously more advanced. And it lights up as well as making signals. So you can see it blinks. I mean, that's pretty all cool and stuff. So if I go ahead and set it to midnight. Yeah, it's it's blinking, obviously. There. So yeah. It's lighting up and making a noise. There's pretty much no way you could possibly miss that. Unless you had your sound off. So a good way to control your nuclear reactor, obviously, hence the name nuclear control. That about wraps up the mod spotlight, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll go check this mod out. It's not that complicated, but it can be used in some really complicated mechanisms. If you look at my nuclear reactor video I made, I used the um, thermal monitor to light up some lights down in base control. So feel free to check that out for some usage of it in actual reactors. But thanks for watching the video, guys. This wraps up the Mod Spotlight. Go check it out in the link in the description, and I'll see you guys later.